It's a special night tonight, as it always is when we get to talk to you. Gerald Salenti, once a month on the second Thursday. Gerald, of course, the master of trends. He is a remarkable man. I was not able to get Bernie Madoff, so Gerald decided to show up tonight. Thank you for filling in for Bernie. Well, yeah, well, like, I think they're going to do a, a Mussolini number on uh, Bernie. <laughs> that's that's what we're pushing for. Listen, I'll tell you, there would be no shortage of volunteers. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, the, uh, some of the papers in, in the UK are saying it's 65 billion. But I mean, you know, after 50 billion, who's counting? It's a joke. No, they should. I mean, really, they should start treating these people, you know, in the same uh, high regard as child molesters. We would. The, the, the lives that they have ruined. Totally agree. They, they've ruined. Uh, God, well, how, how could you even calculate the damage they've done? And, and and then turn the coin over. And here is the former United States of America going into Iraq and literally slaughtering approximately 1.5 million people in the last seven years. And if you want to add Papa Bush into that and then the Clintons' enforcement of the no-fly zone, another million at least died. We've killed 2.5 million people, folks. That's the massive genocide, ranking with the world's greatest genocides, in the last, what, 20 years? And no one is talking about it, at least not over here. I mean, it's, yeah, it's no, this no, country I, has I agree. severe you know, problems. We, you know, we did a whole Trends Journal on that that, that issue at one mm. time. Mm. And, uh, I mean, yeah. Well, well, you see, the reason is that all of these people are better than we are. Right. I mean, they're the, ba the, the rich people are too big to fail. The politicians are too big to prosecute. Right. And what they do is they clamp down on the little people like Gestapo. I mean, I just got an email from a woman <clears throat> who told me that, you know, she's a, a fan of mine and, and uh, she follows the Trends Journal and all the stuff, all the information we're talking about mm -hmm. and wanted to let me know what happened. She was, she was on the subway, uh, going home at night in the city and she got into the car and there was this a homeless guy with a whole bunch of junk on the train and he stunk like crazy and he started making a, a, some movements toward her and she walked through the train to go to a, the car to go to another car and she got arrested for walking between subway cars. Oh really? And she tried to explain to the to the officer what was going on uh -huh. but of course you know he treated her like she was a low life criminal and uh, slapped it with a summons. And this, this is, is a, what this they're a... doing on and on. If I yeah. have, you know, yeah. if you have three glasses of wine and get stopped at a, a checkpoint, you know, they, they'll throw you up against the car, they'll put handcuffs on you, and lock you up and throw you into jail. But look at good old Bernie Madoff. You know, he was doing his time after he admitted this in his penthouse. You know, so it's really a, 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 a there's, this isn't a democracy. It's the furthest thing from it. I'm not going to argue here. Uh, it's absolutely correct. In fact, you folks remember Edgar Casey. Edgar Casey said at some point in the future, the people of the world would look to Russia as its potential salvation to stand in between them and evil. And those prophecies don't seem as half-cocked as they, as they did 30, 40 years ago. I have people who go to Russia, who are in Eastern Europe, who say that there is more freedom, per se now, in Russia than there is here in the formerly United States. Well, you know, it, it, what's going on with all of these bailouts and rescues, and you, know, you hear in the media they keep calling it you know, socialism. The definition for oh, state-run yeah. capitalism right. is called fascism. Sure it is. And that's what this country's yeah. turned into. Yeah. And, you know, we're, 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 we're wondering when will the first shot against the American people be fired uh -huh. by the troops, when the people start protesting in rallies of tax revolts and food riots. Mm -hmm. And, you know, th there was a story today in Madagascar the uh, people yeah. are rioting, yeah. and the troops refused to fire on Yeah, they were ordered to fire on their own countrymen, and they said no. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't turn their weapons around the officers who issued the orders. That's probably coming. Well, what would uh, they do in the United States? Oh, they'd shoot. We know that. We know that. They've tested the Marines. They've given psychological profiles. They bring back these hardened Iraq war vets, 
and they're trained. They're they're automatons. They've been raised on the video game uh, paradigm. Uh, it's a virtual world. Uh, they've learned over there you can't hit reset, but I think most of them would shoot. Uh, it's pretty easy to vilify people when you own the media. It's pretty easy to brainwash troops when you own them, and that's exactly what happens. I think it would happen here. I really do, unfortunately. Um, there would be exceptions, but I think generally speaking, uh, the, shoot, the shooting would uh, would commence. We saw it in L.A. in the Watts riots, and they shot at Americans. Well, this is going to be very well. Actually, one of the things that we're going to be forecasting, uh, th this summer is going to be... Um, uh, uh, the summer that's going to rival the worst of the 1960s riots. Go down in history, sure. By the way, and you you very well know it, you folks listening in, the government can ignite such riots any time it wants to. It can set the kindling, it can put the agents provocateurs in the field, and it can rally the public to uh, engage in civil disobedience. Easy to turn. It's like turning a tap on and off. They can do it any time they want. And that will give them the excuse to declare martial law, law, to send the troops in, and to uh, have them fire away. It's it's quite uh, quite conceivable to me. I think you're right, Gerald, and I, I do think there can be some very deadly manipulation involved in such civil disobedience on the part of those who would, who would profit from it, and, and there will be those who will profit from it. Well, but then again, you know, everything's going to be all right because, you know, I was watching the business news, and it looks like the stock market's rebounding and recovery's on the way. Oh, did the you see? Of the yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you see GM postponed taking, postponed taking uh, $2 billion in its uh, bailout money? Uh, this is a week after it said it couldn't last the month. Anyway, they postponed taking $2 billion, and the stock went up 9%. This is yeah, nuts. And also these people they, are crazy. They lowered their credit rating. Yes, and of the course. Stock went up. Yes, these people are all crazy. This, the whole stock market, of course, as you know, is, is crazy. Well, it's been totally crazy. Manipulated. Yeah, yeah, it's nuts. Uh, yeah. So we're going to see a false flag recovery. <clears throat> They're going to sucker in the uh, the fish to what's to... left of the fish. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, then when the move the prices up a little bit, the big guys will bail out. And the little people will again be left holding uh, paper worth nothing. Nothing. Toilet paper. Roll it up. 45% of the world's wealth has been destroyed thus far in the engineered economic catastrophe. 45%. This and is they from the, say that it's not a. They say we're not going into a depression. No, they keep using the a recession word, and I keep laughing every time I see it. If this isn't a depression, I don't know what is. Well, we're going to start seeing. They're not going to be able to hide. Well, they will hide it for a while because they're pumping so much money into the system. Right. Right. So, we, as we said, we're going to have this false flag recovery. People are going to start jumping back into the real estate market. We're going to see a temporary spike up. It's just going like taking, you know, like taking an allotropic drug for a chronic degenerative disease. Sure. It doesn't cure the disease, but it gives you that temporary feeling, a yeah. symptom relief that, you know, help is on the way there, and you're going yeah. to be cured. There is a small uptick in the lower echelons of the real estate market now. People are buying bargains. So they're that and but that is no sign of health, friends. None. These are car this is a carrion related activity. These are <laughs> predators and parasites are buying up uh, on the cheap or real estate properties. So the realtors of course are saying the market is back. It's coming back. No wrong. They're simply wiping up the blood in the streets and moving forward. It's it's not coming back. Now, not only is it not coming back, but we're also going to start seeing a lot more violence worldwide. Uh, you look what's going on in, in Eastern Europe, Estonia, Latvia, uh, Lithuania, Hungary, Romania, Ukraine. And these, these, these countries are underwater. They have collapsed. And the irony is, is that